Hey everybody, it's my gay kid that resale guy. Today's Friday, we've got a few orders I gotta ship out, and then I'm getting stuff processed back here for my antique booth. So yeah, sales have been a little bit slow on eBay the last 24 hours. Only sold two items, but one of them was pretty good, so the dollar amount's all right. And I actually sold three Amazon orders all fulfilled by me and one that is fulfilled by Amazon, although it's still pending. It hasn't fully processed yet, uh, but that one is a pretty good sale as well. So yeah, let's get going on things. I'm going to show you what I'm taking out to my booth and go over sales. We'll kind of do all that and then uh, yeah, get on with our Friday. All right, first eBay, two items. Uh, this one sold for 30 bucks. This is a Mike Piazza card. This is one of these really hard to find inserts from 1990s. It's called Hot Gloves from Flair. I originally had this in my store for $50. Yeah, it's that rare of a card, but it, obviously it takes the right buyer that's gonna drop that kind of money on a single baseball card of Mike Piazza from the 90s. Uh, so somebody sent me an offer, said, hey, how about 30 bucks? And yep, I'll take 30 bucks for it. So yeah, 30 bucks shipped. Next is a baseball glove. And that's, this actually just sold like a few minutes ago. So luckily I got to add it to my totals for today. This is one of the better gloves you can find as far as older used gloves go. This is the A2000 XXL made by Wilson. It's a really good glove. And this one was in really, really, really nice shape. It really hardly looks used. All the laces were intact. Just a little bit of fading, if you can kind of see down here, it looks like it had a little bit of sun exposure. Uh, look these things up, and man, these things are expensive gloves. Uh, the sell-through rate is really good as well, but again, it took a little while. It's not like they're gonna fly off the shelves. Uh, this sold for $119.99, so yeah, 120 bucks for this glove, and I'm sure I paid less than 10 bucks for it. So yeah, that's it for eBay. Two items, gonna be quick and easy. Now Amazon, we got these three orders over here that I'm shipping out. First one is this Cricut. I always call it Cry Cut at first and then you gotta realize it looks like there's a little Cricut face there. Uh, this is Jubilee Celebration. So this is one of these cartridges for those Cricut machines. Uh, I've picked several of these up through the years. I've got them as cheap as a buck, anywhere to three or four dollars. I'll pick them up in that range because this one sold for $29.99 plus shipping. I have some that have sold for $30 and $40. Bucks. So if these are new and sealed, definitely a big bolo. Uh, you know, I'd probably pay up to $10 bucks for these if I know I'm going to get $30 bucks and it's new and sealed. Next, we have this. It's the Game of Coda. I just picked this up over the weekend while we're on vacation and I paid just a few bucks for it. Listed over on Amazon. eBay, they're only going for like $10 plus shipping. So. Obviously, Amazon is the place to sell it. It went for $29.99 plus shipping. It's the reason why I say cross list your items between eBay and Amazon. Amazon's always, shouldn't say always, but most of the time they're going to be higher. So yeah, got 30 bucks plus shipping for this. This next one, I've had this for a long, long time. This has been sitting around for probably a year plus. It could be two years. It just wasn't selling. It's this wireless DSL starter kit, brand new in the box. Uh, finally got a sale for it. I think I originally had it priced pretty high and that's why it wasn't selling. Marked it down to, what did I get? I got $49.99 plus shipping. Uh, it's, I'm not sure if it's a drop shipper. Somebody you know, is doing it that way because they asked me not to include an invoice. I can't imagine that this is a gift. Either way, I still got my 50 bucks plus shipping and I'm happy to finally get it out of the pile that I had over here. So yeah, that's it for sales. I've been shipping five total things. It was 150 on eBay and like 110 plus shipping on Amazon. Put those together, 260 bucks plus shipping. That's pretty good. Now let's check out some of the stuff that I'm taking out to my booth. Sometimes I've shown you while I've been out there or on my way, uh, but yeah, I've got all this stuff piled up. That's why I don't have my backdrop here. It's kind of all in the way until I get it all priced and labeled and into boxes ready to go out to the booth. Still got a lot of work to do on it. Uh, first is, are all these card packs. You can see, uh, can you see? Yeah, one, two, three. There, there's seven of these card packs. I was in a store just a couple days ago. They had a bunch of these packs just in hanging bags on the wall, plus this box here. These are from the Conlon collection. It's a bunch of, well, they're cards, but they're from a set from 1991 and 1992 that they're old vintage photographs from, what does it say on here? Like the early 1900s, like 190 something to 19, 
15 or something like that. So yeah, really cool old vintage autograph or photographs. Uh, so they had one sealed box and then they had a bunch of these packs. So you can see I've done three packs of this type and four packs of these. Uh, one of them is this, so it's Babe Ruth. So they did a whole set of just Babe Ruth cards. There's like 160 cards in the set or something. And then these are the regular ones. So they're all black and white on these black bordered cards. Really cool, great photographs. So if you like baseball, these, this is a really cool set. They don't sell for a ton. Like this box here, I actually paid like $8 for, and it's going in my booth for 15. And then these packs here, since they're loose, what I did is I made packs of, I think there's 18 in each of these packs, and I'm putting them at $7.95. Uh, so I'm going to do pretty good overall. Like I said, we got six packs of these and one of these. And I think for the, the hanging bags, I paid like $5 a piece. And I'm going to get back about 20, maybe 20 plus on each of those bags. In one of those hanging bags, it was also this Dodgers team set uh, from 1992. Uh, so I'll just throw it in my booth for a couple bucks. And because it's the Dodgers, someone will buy it got a hockey puck. I sell a lot of hockey pucks, autograph hockey pucks, just team logo ones like this. Uh, I bought a bunch of these cases to put them in because I found out that sometimes if you put tape directly on a puck, it peels up the logo and stuff on them. So I spent about 70 cents each, I think it was, buying these cases in bulk, uh, put the puck in there, and then I sell them for $7.95 just for a regular team logo puck. And I sell a lot of them. This was just a random item in one of the thrift stores. Sharper image, little slot machine, novelty bank. And what I like about this, look, ages eight plus to start playing the slot machines. I like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is just new in the package. It was three bucks. I'm throwing it in my booth for 10. I think I showed this in a little haul vi video. It's just a little music box. It has a little drawer on here. Opens up. Plays Do You Want to Build a Snowman? I'm not going to play it because it'll go forever. Uh, picked it up for, I think it was two or three bucks, and yeah, I'm throwing it in my booth for 10. Oops, I pressed the button. Off. This I picked up while I was in Prescott, this Devin Booker McFarlane figure. It was marked $12, so with a coupon I paid 10, but it's going in my booth for 20. And then you see, I have a lot of bobbleheads back here. Uh, don't always have to be the Diamondback ones. Like this one here is a Red Sox player. And sometimes having the other teams, because uh, there are several booths that do have Diamondback bobbleheads, but when you can find ones from other teams, I seem to sell them almost even a little bit quicker. So again, pick this up for a couple bucks. This was actually in the Christmas section for some reason. Uh, Mark two forty nine, and I'm going to sell it for 12 bucks in my booth. This is just like a little mug, a little Coyotes mascot mug. Again, picked it up for a couple bucks. I think I'm throwing it in my booth for like seven. I've had a couple of these before. I found them. This one's a Green Bay Packers, but it's like a mason jar. This one's brand new. Found it in the thrift store for a couple bucks. And yeah, going in the booth for 10. Do you notice the theme here? Two or three dollars to 10, like on all of these. Same with this little precious moments, little four mom trinket box. Again, picked up for a couple bucks and might have put seven ninety five or nine ninety five, whatever whatever price it is. Pick this up on, on my vacation, this Budweiser Stein from 1995. Usually I don't pick these up because this one had the box. I went ahead and grabbed it. Again, it was like $4, I think, after coupon, and I marked it for $10. This I only got because it was cheap from Stranger Things. This is Hopper. It's, some, it's called a collectible squishy, so I assume it's foam and you can squish it. It was marked $2.95, so again, after coupon, I'm paying barely 2 bucks. And I can put it in the booth for, I think I put it for $7.95. These aren't real expensive. Put in this snow globe, New York City with the Twin Towers on there. Picked it up for a few bucks. Yep, $10 in my booth. I find a lot of this stuff. This is from Loot Crate. A, a lot of people have these Loot Crate subscriptions. They get their items each month. Seems like half the stuff goes to Goodwill because I'm finding it all the time. I've probably had 10 of these different Battlestar Galactica Cylon Raiders. Uh, they sell in my booth. They sell slowly because I've had so many of them. Uh, usually pay two to three dollars at most and put them in there for $7.95. This was a new sealed puzzle for the Diamondbacks. And yep, you know the price. It's going in there for $9.95.
This was the Mickey that I got on our vacation as well. Picked it up for a couple bucks, looked it up on eBay. And even though it's vintage, these have like a zero sell through rate right now. There's probably uh, 10 or 12 of them listed and none sold. So there's no reason for me to list this on eBay. They're like $10. So I'm just gonna throw it in my booth for $7.95 and hope it sells there. Here's this cool, cool skull that I picked up. It shows the different lobes and bones of the face. I think they sell these at like Michael's or something like that, but I thought it was cool. Picked it up for a couple bucks, going in the booth for 10. Here's another bobblehead. This one's Mike Trout. This one will sell pretty quick for 20 bucks. Another Packers thing. This is like a, it's called Brixels, B-R-X-L-Z, little Green Bay Packers logo thing here. My wife actually put this together so we can make sure that it was complete so you can see what I do. Let's see if the glare is not too much here. You see on the label, so I put the price on it, like I put right here, an extra little label. Pre-owned, already assembled, or sometimes it, if it's just opened, I will say pre-owned, verified complete, 100% complete, something like that. So I just throw a label on there, even though, because I shrink wrap this, so I don't want someone to think that it's brand new. Broncos checker game. This is Broncos versus Raiders checkers game. It was brand new inside, uh, so I just shrink wrap the box, and uh, yeah, I'll get an easy 10 or 12 bucks for this. Then we have a stack of football card boxes. These I found at a Goodwill all taped together with, it was taped together like this. I'm like, why would they tape three boxes together? And then I got them apart and saw that two of them were missing the lids and one was missing a few packs. So same sort of thing. This one here, full box, missing cover, just so they know that all the packs are there. This one, partial box, has 32 packs. So just price it, mark it, it always sells. This stuff sells in my booth quickly. This isn't a great year of football. This might be one of the worst years of football cards, this 1991 Fleer. So yeah, I think that's everything I'm taking out to my booth. That's my sales. Now I got even a more of a mess I gotta get off the counter so I can get my shipping done. All right, that's it for today. Hey, hey everybody have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button and all of that stuff. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.